weave and we're going to go ahead and remove it from the cardboard loom. So first we're going to take off the tape carefully. Remember that we put the tape so that way we can secure the warp strings and have them not come off while we weave as much yarn in the weft. These are the strands that we have extra left over from when we warped our loom and we're going to weave those back in later at the end. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and remove or release the loom or the weaving from the loom. And we're going to take our needle and we're going to go ahead and just start lifting the warp off of the slits or the pegs just like this. Alrighty. Some of them could be a little stubborn, but you can get them out right there. And don't worry about the top edge here. Later on, we'll like wiggle a little bit of the weft yarn to take up that space. Now, releasing in here may be a little tough because we did tape the loom together but it shouldn't be too much of a challenge. Okay. Again, those edges We'll fix them out as the weaving relaxes, the weft yarn can be pulled apart. Now, when you take your loom off, you don't want to pull it from the bottom because then you're going to just go ahead and warp it and maybe cause some holes in there. So you want to grab it as a whole piece up above, hold the cardboard loom with the other hand and just try to slide it off gently, little by little, working it off rather than pulling it from the bottom edge. You don't want to do that. And it should slide off, no problem. Now, be, be mindful, you still have that little piece of warp string on the very end, on the bottom. And there you go. Now, on the very bottom, you're going to see that you have some holes and some gaps. And what you're going to do is eventually pull down some of that weft string and work it downward. That's why we needed to weave the weft yarn very tight as much as you can. So that way, when you remove the weave from the loom, you can kind of spread that yarn down. So you can see I'm working it with the needle, trying to pull a little bit of that weft yarn spread it out and it will kind of uh, hide those gaps on the bottom. Now we're going to go ahead and weave this warp string that we have left over. It's a little frayed on the tip so let me go ahead and cut it. Okay, I'm going to thread my darning needle. And uh, the way to hide this and work it back in and secure it is uh, step down about maybe one or two rows of weft and then tabby weave that extra warp yarn back in.
Okay, so when you pull it, be careful not to pull too tight. Because if you pull it too tight, it is going to, you know, pinch the corner in. So, you know, pull it out again. And now what I'm going to do is move down another row. And I'm going to tabby weave it back. Make a U-turn. You don't have to do a U-turn. But if you want to, you may. But I definitely recommend that now you take that yarn and weave downward inside piggybacking on a warp string. So you can either do a U-turn or an L. So here we are piggybacking on a warp string and this is going to really secure it nicely and hide that extra yarn from the warp string. Just pull it gently and then snip right there and that's it. It's not coming out for sure. So now to take care of the bottom warp string, first I want to poke it out instead of having it be inside the pocket. So this is what I'm doing here. Okay. And I'm basically now going to do the exact same thing I did on the top flap. I'm going to tabby weave it through. Pull gently. And then now I'm going to piggyback on a warp string. Again, this is a nice way of hiding your extra frayed strings and securing them. So we're going to go ahead and snip that right there. And there you go. Now you have all these extra little pieces that you can, you know, snip it tighter or just leave it there. It gives it that nice rustic look of handmade woven. And there's your bag. Now for the flap, you can do like a little braided latch right here and then stitch a button that then you can go ahead and secure the flap down. And on the sides here, you would uh, make a longer strap, maybe braided from three to four pieces of yarn. You start with tying one end with a knot and then you secure it to the table, braid it, and then tie it on the two sides, needle and string. 